Welcome to Pale Rider TV with a special report. It's going to be a little bit of a long video, I believe. But this news story came across my desk, and it's something I've covered in the past about the autonomous trucks going driverless. Well, let's get right to it. Driverless truck companies hoping to ditch human co-pilots. Aurora, Kodiak, and Gatik all looking at removing safety drivers in 2024. That is this year. So be prepared. The driverless trucks with no humans on board will soon cruise Texas highways if three startup firms have their way despite objections from critics who say financial pressures, not safety is behind the timeline. After years of testing Aurora Innovation, Kodiak Robotics, and Gatic AI expect to remove safety drivers from trucks that are being guided by software and an array of sensors, including cameras, radar, and LiDAR, which sends pulses of light that bounce off objects. The companies have already hauled cargo for big names such as Walmart, Kroger, FedEx and Tyson Foods. At the end of the year, we anticipate getting to the point where we begin operating these trucks without drivers on board. Chris Ermson, co founder and CEO of Pittsburgh based Aurora, said in an interview All the companies say they're ready to deploy the technology, though they know there's little to no margin for error. The risk is worth it, they say, because the technology promises to improve highway safety and lower transportation costs. Uh, I'm not so sure about that statement. Detractors say the companies have incentive to reduce the losses that investors have been financing during the development and testing phase. We are concerned about the lack of regulation, the lack of transparency, and the lack of comprehensive data collection, said Kathy Chase, president of Advocates for Highway and Auto Safety. The list of opponents also include the Teamsters, the 1.3 million member union that represents drivers and warehouse workers. And trucks pose severe dangers, opponents say, because they will be traveling at highway speeds and weigh as much as 80,000 pounds or more than 15 times as much as General Motors' troubled cruise driverless robo-taxi. I think they took them off the road. I'm not sure. The federal government for now has left regulation of driverless large trucks, mostly up to the states, creating a patchwork of rules. California suspended cruise operations in October after several incidents in San Francisco. California's lack of rules for allowing trucks to be tested on public roads encouraged the three driverless truck firms and others to turn to Texas for testing and deployment. The difficulties that cruises robo taxis face on the street to San Francisco, unpredictable pedestrians, sudden road closures, and emergency vehicles are less of a problem for driverless trucks, according to the companies. Trucks largely move cargo on fixed routes and mostly on highways that require much less interaction with passenger vehicles and pedestrians. Besides saving on trucker pay, that's what it's all about, the trucks can travel longer than the 11-hour limit on human drivers. The sensors scan in all directions several times a second to identify objects, speeding up reaction time. There are even estimated savings on emissions of 10% or more because the vehicle will stay just below the speed limit and travel at a steady cadence. And human drivers don't guarantee safe operations. Here we go. In 2021, 5,700 large trucks, which weighed 10,001 pound or more, were involved in fatal crashes, according to statistics compiled by FMCSA. A majority of those incidents came from trucks with a gross weight of 
33,001 pound or more. These Class 8 trucks are similar in size to those in Kodiak and Aurora fleets. While driverless trucks haven't had any at all fault incidents with other vehicles in testing with safety drivers, the FMCS safety report suggests that they may not be immune to accidents. Well, I wouldn't think they'd be immune to accidents either. Nearly two-thirds of fatal accidents occur when a person, object, animal, or other vehicle veer into a truck's lane. Data collected by a self-driving truck's computer system will be key to be determining what caused an accident. They can't just say we're better than humans, said Brian Olsenbeck, a transportation industry analysis with J.B. Morgan Chase and Company. Of the company's planning to go driverless this year, they have to reach that superhuman level, at least initially, until there's broader acceptance. And who knows how long that will take. You know, past few years, there's been talk about uh, autonomous trucks. Uh, I never thought it'd be 2024 when they'd be talking about going totally driverless and planning on going totally driverless. I thought it'd be a few more years, a bunch of years, before they'd even get the infrastructure and everything else set up to do that. Meeting they go. An Aurora's terminal just south of Dallas, a worker cleaned sensors on top and at the side of a dark blue Peterbilt truck while a safety driver sits in the cab ready for the truck to pull out. If all goes as planned, the safety driver, whose hands now hoover above the wheel without touching it while the truck is in transit, will soon no longer be needed for the 200-mile trek to Houston. So Dallas to Houston, I would imagine they would go under Interstate 45. Anybody been on Interstate 45 and, I don't know, traffic and construction and how's the driver of this truck going to maneuver all that stuff? I don't know. Our intent is this is going to feel like just another day, except this day the truck's going to head out on the road without anybody in it, Hermson said. Wow. Wall Street will be watching closely to see if Aurora meets its goal of going driverless by the end of 2024, said Jeff Osborne in analysis with TD Cohen, who has a market reform rating on the stock. Otherwise, investors will raise cash burn concerns. If something is slightly delayed, you just end up getting punished, Osborne said. The startup raised $850 million this summer, giving it enough cash to operate through the second half of 2025. Aurora then aims to raise a similar amount to carry it through 2027 when it's expected to turn a profit. Gatech AI, a Mountain View, California-based startup, has already driven trucks without a driver in Arkansas and Canada. Arkansas. I live in Arkansas. I'm in Arkansas right now, so what's up with that? The company uses smaller box trucks and plans to deliver from distribution centers to stores. In 2024, the company expects to deploy driverless trucks in the Dallas area at scale. Kodiak plans to start Small in 2024 and gradually ramp it up as we build confidence in the system that we didn't miss anything, said Don Burnett, CEO of the closely held company that he founded in 2018 that is also based in Mountain View, California. We've seen the damage that can be done, and in the case of robotaxis in San Francisco, he said, the first operations without a human aboard will be short runs near the company's truck terminal just south of Dallas and extend from there. The companies have truck port partners to help with fueling their diesel-powered fleets and roadside assistance in case of a flat tower. tire. <laughs> wow. Is this for real? Oh, is this some kind of prank or something? I'm afraid not. This is these people are serious about this. 
open row. For now, it's mostly southern states from Arizona to Florida that allow self-driving trucks. Kodiak has been hauling cargo with a safety driver from Dallas to Atlanta and from Houston to Oklahoma City. Most companies plan to start in the south because there's less inclement weather, less inclement winter weather. Texas first adopted legislation allowing driverless trucks in 2017. State authorities have worked with the startups to address issues such as inspections and how law enforcement will interact with a driverless truck. Now, that is something I'm concerned about or wondering about. How are they going to, these trucks going to know how to pull into a scale if it's open or closed? What if a state trooper or a DOT officer is trying to pull the truck over? How's that truck, driverless truck, going to know to pull over? And what if they don't pull over when the officer wants them to? Well, they're going to put out the spike strips or shoot the tires out to get this truck stopped or what? This is crazy. Like I said, is it April? Is it April 1st today? Nope, it's not. It's not an April Fool's joke. Autonomous vehicles are expected to help improve safety, spur economy, economic growth, and improve the transportation experience for all Texans. The Texas DOT said in a statement, still, the self-driving startups realize that state and federal regulations have the ability to force a recall and stop the operation of vehicles if they believe they're creating unreasonable risk to the motoring public. The potential transformation of the trucking industry will depend on whether the initial driverless runs are completed without a hitch. So there you have it. The three of the companies are trying to get trucks totally driverless by in this year, by the end of 2024. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Is it going to get any further? I don't know. It just don't make sense. It just it's not about it's about that dollar getting rid of the driver, the human element, so you don't have to get paid. How many truck driving jobs will this cost? And uh, is it really? It's not about safety because they don't have all the safety features worked out yet. I don't know. It just it's silly i never thought i'd see this in my lifetime but apparently uh driverless trucks imagine driving around a driverless truck with your family in tow in your vehicle kids the wife husband whatever and family pets and that driverless truck something goes haywire in a computer and they hit a pothole knocks something loose in the wiring and causes that driverless truck to run over you. What do you think? Is that ridiculous or what? So, I don't know. I know the Teamsters are against it. I think I don't agree with a lot of what the Teamsters do, but I had to agree with them on this one. We can't have this driverless truck taking driver's jobs and all that stuff away. It just is crazy. It's crazy. The trucking industry is never was a driver friendly industry, that's for sure. So let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about this uh, Luster Fox Trot autonomous trucks going driverless. Be sure to check out this video after this one. I appreciate everybody watching.